Tim and Jason bought, brought a different number of sweets to school. This is your key there. Different number. It's not equal. It's not Jason and Tim equal number of sweets. Each of them took out the same number of sweets. They take out the same thing to distribute to their classmates. If Jason took out two-thirds of his sweets and gave each of his classmates six sweets, he would have four sweets left over. This is one important keyword. Then, if Tim took out half of his sweets to give each of his classmates seven sweets, he would be short of three sweets. Very important keyword there as well. How many sweets did both boys have at first? Okay, so we have this information now. I want you all to focus on the part where they start to say if until here. Okay, so if Jason took out two thirds of his sweets and gave each of his classmates six sweets. So I am going to, what I'm going to do is let the number of sweets be units. In other words, it will be known as U. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to apply the excess and shortage concept. Why am I applying excess and shortage concept? Because of this word leftover and the word short and because there is two ifs in this question also. Can you see all this? Okay, when there are two ifs, and you see the word leftover, shortage, excess, extra, balance, right? And you have two ifs, then it is excess and shortage concept. Okay? All right? These are the keywords. So I'm going to draw on my table first. Okay. Like that. Then we cut up into three columns. We put the if, excess or shortage, total, Jason and Tim. Okay, following who comes first. They say Jason first and follow Jason first, okay. Now, we're going to fill up the information. Okay, so Jason gave six sweets, right? Sweets is ready you, six units. And then this team gave seven sweets, means seven units like that. Okay? So, so Jason took out six units of sweets and then he have leftover means extra. This one means extra. Extra. For this, the word leftover. So extra means plus. How many extra? Four. Like that. Okay? Team, seven units. He will be short. Short means not enough. Shortage. Shortage means it's a minus. Minus how many? Three sweet, not enough. Like this. And then we look row by row. So look the top row first, Jason. So it will be six unit plus four. Team, the bottom one, okay, will be seven unit minus three. Now, logically, you know that these two boys, right? These two boys, okay, will have the same number uh, of sweets. But in this case, you know that they brought different number of sweets to school. So I cannot say that this Jason and Tim have equal number. It comes from the same group of sweets. I can't do that. Usually, it will be like that. But in this question, no, it does not. So I cannot put the equal sign at the side. We leave it just like that. What I want to do, uh, what I want to do from this question is I just want to represent them to find what is one unit. Okay. So six unit plus four is equals to seven unit minus three. I just want to take out what is one unit. What is one sweet? This is my my issue here. What is one sweet? Okay. So we put all the numbers to one side and all the units to the other side. And this is what I get. Or you can represent it this way. Yep. 
Okay. Now I have this. So let's do Jason first. Jason is six unit, right? So six unit is seven times six equals to 42. Okay. Then don't forget to plus back the four because you got extra equals to 46. And this Jason is the two third. This two third. Let's bring it down. Two third. So Jason, what happened to Jason? Jason took out, took out two units out of his total three units of sweet. This is our B4. Okay, so which means this 46 is actually my two units for Jason. Okay, now let's move on to the next one. We want to find how much does he have at first, right? So I need to find my three units. Okay, so for this, for this, this will be two unit is 46. One unit is 46 divided by two, 23. I want to find my total before for Jason. There will be three units. That is 23 times three equals to 69. I'm done with Jason. Okay, let's draw a line across. So this is Jason done. Now let's find out about Tim. Okay. Team. So if you look at team, we go back to this one. So one unit is seven. Team have how many units at first? Team have seven units, which is what I want, right? So seven unit is seven times seven equals to 49. Now, if you look at team, this one, we bring it down. It's half. Unit, unit. He took out one unit out of his total of two units. So, which means my 49 is actually one unit. Okay. One. Took, wait, uh, one unit. Seven unit. Okay, sorry. 79. Seven units at first. Okay. All right, so I go, I find out my seven units already. Okay, so I take 49 minus my three, because I found out seven units already, right? I don't have to find my six units. Okay, so 49 minus three is 46. Okay, now I need to find my two units. So one unit is 46, two unit is 46 times two equals to 92 okay so what's my total you can see from here 69 and my 92 the total i put here is equals to 69 plus 92 equals to 161 okay this 49 is not done yet. Why? Because I need to minus 3. So once I minus 3, that is what he took out. He took out only one unit. So this 46 is actually my one unit. This one. Okay? Just now for Jason, we need to add in because there's extra 4. For team, not enough shortage of 3. So I minus 3 to get my one unit. Then I find two units. Why two units? Because that's my total. Okay? My answer is 161.